Hello everyone, this is just a quick uh, clip just to let people know what they're getting into. This is a long ass commentary. It starts off with me talking about um, what I want to do with my channel, but then it kind of turns into this really free form, long winded talk about my life and shit. So if you're not interested in that, um, I'm just going to say uh, I'll have a quick little TLDR in the description. You can read that. And yeah, uh, enjoy. Hello everyone, I don't really do commentary as much, <laughs> but I'm going to do one now, because I feel like there's some important shit for me to talk about, especially regarding my channel. But, you know, I'll get into recent events, maybe. But first, I'm going to get through my channel. I'm just going to get right into it, because I have the tendency... I have the tendency to just ramble on and on about stuff for basically no reason for hours and hours and end. So I'd rather just get straight to it. So what's been happening with my channel? Not really much recently. The last video I really uploaded was the last surprise montage. And then before that was a different video about the, um, about the Prometheus lens like a year earlier. So frankly, you know, my upload schedule has not really been all that active but I have been semi-active on Twitter I mean I um I changed accounts because I noticed some tweets that I saw like ages ago that I made and I can't really delete everything I say but I was just looking at them and I was just like damn you know what I mean I just, I just saw that shit and it was just like that's that's not cash money of me to say that. Why the fuck did I say that? Oh my god. Who who gave younger me a Twitter account? Who let who let younger me use the internet? Right? <laughs> so uh, initially so like in January I did switch accounts. I kept the same handle of Mr. Unsociable, but recently I changed the handle over to Unso Twit T W T. Uh just that just seems like a really weird like developer handle and I actually kind of like it. It's a lot more clean and shorter than Mr. Unsociable. And about that change in unso from Mr. Unsociable to unso. Why? Part of it's just dissociation from like an older brand because I'm just like I was a bit of a butthead when I was younger and I kind of want to dissociate from that if I want to actually do something with this channel, you know? Cuz I actually do want to do things with this channel. I want to move forward. I want to actually start making content again on a regular basis. Of course, regular basis will probably... If regular basis means like once every few weeks, I mean that's about the most progress or the most volume of videos I think I'll ever put out in comparison to like once per year. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm going to try doing that. And I actually have some ideas for my channel. Now, this is a bit of a biggie here because it's an investment here, right? If it doesn't pull off, I'll probably never make videos again, or I'll just find maybe a different outlet. But if it does succeed, I think I'm in on something. Now, a lot of channels, especially recently, have had some sort of personality behind them, whether it be a person, whether it be like an actual person or a mascot or you know an identity of some sort, characters. Every channel that's been successful recently has had some sort of personality or charm or just some sort of symbol to kind of associate with it uh think about your favorite commentary channel right you know your favorite commentary channel that's like really big you know they're not just like hey what's going on guys this is no 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 they've got like an actual personality right and they're really bombastic and shit or like they have something going for them that's interesting think of uh i don't know like review tech usa or moist critical or optimus you know th those kinds of guys i just kind of talk about shit and they're interesting to listen to i want to kind of do something like that but less in the fashion of like a commentary channel and more of just like in the fashion of more of an actual character. I want to kind of have a character to surround this channel. Or I mean to kind of be the uh, mascot or poster boy of this channel. I'm still working on this character. But for now, I'm just going to kind of have the character just be an avatar in Destiny 2. He'll talk about stuff, you know. And... It's going to be pretty interesting that I'm using 
him as sort of like a medium to do commentaries or video essays on stuff. But I think I think the idea of like having an actual mascot would actually have, add a brand to this channel and add a bit more identity. Along with having a mascot, of course, I'd like to have it have its own foil. And the foil would just be an AI. Of course, I still need to figure out the name for both and the personality for both. But I'm thinking, because I like doing like variety videos, like I still like making dumb shit. What I could honestly do is have a bit of a canon to my channel. To where the AI is the one essentially producing the videos. So all the videos that are on the channel are just computer generated. Which is probably going to be essentially a really good a really good ass pull for why some of them are good or bad or why some of them are just extremely random at times. And then the other videos that are like uh more commentary focused, more personality centric, you know, those videos are just gonna be made by my avatar or character that I come up with. I'm thinking of switching to this model because like I said, it would definitely bring some more pizzazz to the channel. I'd have an actual character, something to recognize, something to associate, rather than just, oh, that guy that makes dumb videos sometimes. Now I'm that now I'm that guy who you may know for that one funny avatar on the internet. Of course, depending on if this goes well. Because <laughs> if my plan's here to kind of revitalize or revamp my entire outlook on the internet go well i could actually use my channel as a platform not just for myself but for others if i'm ever big enough i might honestly have my channel host other people but that just requires getting big enough of course but that's essentially just been my plan though you know i want to try to i want to try to kind of have like a character for my channel and have that sort of be you know, the face. Now, let's get into something a bit more intricate. Why, and I mean why, have I not been so active? Simple. I'm an adult. When I started this channel, I think I was in middle school. The story before I even started this channel is that I started another channel about when I was in, like, the 6th or 7th grade. I started making videos on there for a little bit, then I made some stupidly inappropriate videos. My sister found it somehow. And then my father, then she showed it to my father and my mom. And while we were all on vacation, by the way. And that, I had to take everything down there. And so in secret, I started Mr. Unsociable. Well, Mr. Unsociable was originally called Racist Barn, which is a reference to a MLP video back when I was like a cringe lord. But I changed it to Mr. Unsociable after thinking, like, more than 30 seconds about that name. I'm like, you know, that name could probably give off the wrong, the wrong, <laughs> uh, whatchamacallit, the wrong idea about me. So, I've just been, you know, when I was in middle school and high school making a bunch of random dumb gameplay videos and commentaries and machinimas and all sorts of stuff. And I was having a blast. I fell out of love with it eventually around the time when I started getting hardcore into Destiny about around 2015, 2016. But, I mean, I was still willing to put videos out. But when I graduated, that willingness kind of went away, you know? I didn't really go to college. You know, I mean, I, I did... Tech, I did do a couple semesters at a community college, but I didn't really, like, seriously get into it. And I didn't really get, like, a serious job until about two years ago. So for that, like, year after I graduated in uh, about around 2017, I was in a bit of a slump. You know, I didn't really, didn't really know what I was doing in my life. Because I really didn't have much to do. I was basically, by all means, a neat for a year. And if you don't know what a neat is, a neat is essentially like, it's just a guy or a girl who isn't in school, isn't at work, doesn't have any sort of like thing they're striving to do. They just kind of sit at home all day and kind of live off of the government or live off their parents or some shit. I mean, many compare this to like the Japanese hikikomori, but that's kind of just taking neat to like a whole new fucking level. 
you know, I, I, I mean, I still went outside and hung out with friends and shit, but I just didn't really have like a job or school. I didn't really have any sort of occupation and I sure as hell wasn't making YouTube videos back then. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> so I wasn't really, I was kind of stuck, you know, I kind of had to find myself. And eventually, a while down the line, I did get a proper job. And it was scary at first, you know? I mean, of course, food service isn't exactly a proper job. But it's more of a job than I've ever experienced at that time. And at first, it was really scary, you know? If I mess up, like, this isn't just, like messing up around the house or messing up on a piece of paper for school no this is seriously messing up like stuff that's like people are going to be buying like I i'm going to be doing a service for people right so i have to make sure i get things done right not to mention who knows how overwhelming some tasks could be so you know i was i was a bit scared but after a while i feel i feel i built up some resolve there you know after I got into the groove, you know, I figured out work, you know, it's just not really that hard. It's kind of like going to school almost. You have, you go there at the time you're supposed to get there. You do the tasks you need to do, and you leave. And it's not really that hard. And that's kind of what I've been doing for like two years. But very recently, especially since the COVID-19 pandemic, I've honestly just been, I've been working a lot harder. Like, no, seriously, like, I've been working, like, 50 hours a week. And note, I work in food service still. I'm trying to get out of the industry. I think I think there is some opportunities I actually do have right now. But, you know, being a food service job, it's still minimum wage. It's still no benefits other than maybe overtime that I have, right? And I'm working, like, 50 hours a week during a fucking pandemic. It's just been burning me out, and I've just been really disinterested in doing anything other than just waking up going to work going home go to sleep eat sleep repeat you know what i mean and that's just kind of been my life recently i mean before even before the pandemic i was still pushing like 40 hours which i mean isn't a lot you know a lot of people work like 35 40 hours but for like a food service job you know they normally schedule you for like as low as humanly possible so me basically working full-time already as someone who has recently entered the adult world i'm like 21 right now that was definitely <laughs> that was definitely um definitely something else you know what i mean something else but like especially to be working basically 10 hours a day 50 hours a week that's just insane for me but before then I just genuinely had no motivation to make videos. I didn't really think my channel was going anywhere, you know? I figured it would be better to focus on myself and my life, which... Honestly, that's kind of been over and done with recently. I have had some ups and downs and since I graduated, you know? Had a few, made a bunch of friends, fought, fell out for... I can't, I can't English today, man. And I feel I need to get drunk for these kinds of things. But I had made a few friends, fell out with some others, learned a few things, almost died a few times. Maybe I'll get into that a bit more later into my channel. <laughs> but it's definitely been an uphill battle for me. I basically had to learn how to be an adult exclusively on my own at this point. Because, like... Whether I was a neat or in the workforce, the hours I would basically be, the hours that I was like awake and stuff, I would be doing things or would be interacting with my family. It's like I never really saw my parents that much after graduating. Let's be real here. I, I don't even, like, I could ask my mom some random question that i would be completely baffled at the answer and not know like what's been happening i've been either really busy or just been really disassociative if that makes sense i don't know let me stay on topic though but yeah like over over the past two years i have been in a bit of a depressive slump and it's been a bit of an uphill battle so youtube and silly videos haven't really been kind of like haven't really been my top priority just more or less finding happiness and, you know, seeking validation. 
Originally, it was seeking validation in the form of trying to, what's the word, trying to obtain, like, Luna's Howl and Not Forgotten on Destiny. Luna's Howl, I got it within the first month of Forsaken, but Not Forgotten, it took me until, actually, until about earlier this year, in, like, around uh, January, February-ish, for me to get that. Actually, no, it was, I got not, I think I got not forgotten in, in season of the fucking, the one with Zavala and Anna Bray, that one, that one. I got not forgotten about around then. And those were amazing objectives, too. Another, you know, objective, too, was also to kind of expand my social life and get a girlfriend and stuff. And I mean, like, I've been doing that, you know. I've been hanging out with friends more, been going to conventions, and if if you know if you know that side of me, whoever's watching this, don't say shit. <laughs> I've been certainly very socially active, at least in that sense, and I even managed to get myself a girlfriend this year, which is kind of a first for me. You know, looking back, like especially two years ago, like I was all sweaty and smelly, play video games all day, was a nerd, very socially awkward. Now I'm very like now I have a job, I have a girlfriend, I tried college. I'm still technically in school, but not a traditional form of it, I'll say that much. I'm socially active, have a job, sexually active, you know, I'm pretty much everything I never thought I'd be in like the past two years. And it was certainly an uphill battle getting out of the slump that I was in into where I am now, even in the middle of a pandemic where I am admittedly working a shit job and have no social life anymore because of the pandemic. But I mean, a, a lot of it is just kind of like self-realization, you know? You kind of need to like take a look at yourself in the mirror and be like, uh, that's not, that's not you. That's not what you should be doing. And if you have friends, you know, certainly get a support system, too. I think a support system for you and your problems is probably the most uh, clutch thing you could do. Like, I think, I don't think I would have really, I'd probably still be extremely depressed if it wasn't for my friends. <laughs> I love my friends. Oh, yeah, I've certainly gone through a lot of shit recently in the past few years, and I've gotten out of it. I've become a much more self-confident person I'm a lot more sociable <laughs> I work out well I don't really look like it but I do and it makes me feel better when I do I, um, I have other hobbies other than video games which I haven't really had much time for recently have a job, have a social life, have a girlfriend you know everything, everything's been kind of going well so very recently Let's up to about uh, around the time I made a certain video. Some of you may know it as literally every Hunter main. I came to the conclusion that I should probably start doing this YouTube thing again. Because it's like, that's a hobby I genuinely enjoyed back when I was younger. That was something I actively pursued. And something that, frankly, when I worked on it, I was just getting better and better at it. I learned so many skills like Photoshop, writing, uh, video editing, like... I learned a lot of my essential skills that could potentially get me a job through you <laughs> Corona through YouTube. And essentially, I'm just like, well, I'm a much more confident person. I have a much better work ethic. I mean, I'm basically doing nothing but working every day for 50 hours a fucking week. So it's like, I mean, I could probably pump out more videos, and it would be a nice creative outlet and something very healthy for me. Not to mention, since I'm in a much better mood, and I'm a lot more emotionally stable than I was like three years ago, or two years ago, or like even a year ago, honestly, like, it's not a bad time to come back, you know, especially with everyone staying inside. There's definitely much for me to do. In essence, as I'm, I, I know this entire commentary is very disjointed and makes absolutely no sense other than a few things and has no structure. I guess the main kind of theme about this entire video is that I've grown as a person. I've had some self-realizations and 
I've been in a bit of a depressive slump since I graduated high school, but I got out of it. And I've grown. I've become an adult, almost. I'm self-confident, you know. I have a social life, I have a job. I'm actually working towards getting a much better job, too. I have a few places I'm looking at. Not to mention, I'm also working on a certification. I might honestly move out soon, too, but there are a few hurdles I need to jump over for that as well. But things seem to be going well, and I think now is a better time than ever for me to kind of be working on videos again. It's a creative outlet I've loved, and honestly, I think... As I have found some happiness recently, I think it would honestly make me a lot happier just to go back to making stupid shit again. And honestly, like, I'm here for it. And, you know what? Of course, getting back into YouTube and stuff is going to be a bit of a problem because the social landscape, let's be honest, it's changed a lot since, like, 2017. It's changed a hell of a lot. You know, people are getting canceled left and right. There are things you can say, things you can't say. Uh, political ideologies, if you have them, you're pretty much just going to be ignored. Or you're going to be pedestalized by racists. It's just... It's just, honestly, we're just in a very divisive, overly political hellscape where if you're not either super left or super right, you're kind of just tossed aside, and it really sucks. But I, it's not the best time to get back into it, especially it, 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 there was a lot of self-reflection that was going on with me too before trying to get back into videos. If you notice, some of my videos are gone. I've privated them. Because I didn't think they're really fitting for this kind of a uh, this kind of political housekeeper, and I want to try to be a lot more careful about the things I say or do in the videos. I know, like videos like Task Force sixty nine, like there are some homophobic jokes in there, and I think I made a transphobic joke in like uh, the Valentine's Day assassination. I don't know if that video is still up. I think I took it down, but I realize you know there's a lot of really ignorant stuff I've said on my channel. And while it doesn't reflect my, the views of me personally today, it's still something that I, at some point in time, have said. And it doesn't matter what my views are now, people on the internet are going to look at what I've said before today, right? Not today, not tomorrow, but before today, you know? And they're going to see that and see that as Bible, and see that as essentially just, like, an accurate judgment of your character. They're going to just be like, well, like, two years ago, you said this inappropriate and offensive thing, so therefore that's just automatically what my, my entire opinion of you, this one thing bad that you said two years ago <laughs> is clearly defining of you for the rest of your life, so let's just cancel this person anyway, Stan Luna. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't, I don't want to be fucking canceled. And honestly, I think I have learned a lot since high school. I've become a much more tolerant person anyways. I'm not a dickhead or a racist or a homophobe or transphobe. Fuck turfs, by the way. <laughs> so, honestly, I think, I think I do have a better mindset for the new landscape of YouTube anyways. But I'm going to be a lot more careful. But coming back, it is not going to really be very easy. As I said, I'm still slowly over... Well, I've overcome most of my depression but not all of it so i definitely need some help there plus i'm also still working 50 hours a week at you know a fucking fast food joint and that hasn't really been holding too well on my head either you know that hasn't really been too good on my uh mental health well along with mental health just time in general i haven't really had time to do shit and whenever i do it's on the weekends and i prioritize using that time Spending it with my friends and my family. So, of course, I'm not really going to have time to actually work on videos. So, you know what? Bear with me here. I'm trying to get back into YouTube. I feel I'm a much better person to do it now. And now's almost a better time than ever. Oh, now that we're at the end here, um, a few things I have to say. Um, 
People who say that George Floyd died of corona or underlying health issues, you're fucking stupid. When someone puts their knee on your windpipe for 10 minutes, you stop fucking breathing. Even then, if some dude says they can't breathe, you probably should get off of them. I mean, he was literally restrained by like two other dudes. I'm just saying that cop was fucking racist. Also, arrest the people who killed Breonna Taylor and all the other people that they're calling for because, frankly, uh, our, our fucking police system is fucking bullshit and should be changed. Okay, thank you.